Hey, what is up YouTube? Optic Ash is here bringing you another video. So just recently at the Columbus Charity Invitational, we saw for the first time in three years, a major land for Gears of War that was single elimination. And I wanted to share with you guys my thoughts and some information about what this means for Gears of War and if it's really effective or not. So for those of you who are not familiar with the terminology single elimination and double elimination when it comes to tournament formats, let's go ahead and take a look at the differences, the main differences between single limb and double elim. All right, so I have paint opened in front of me and let's go ahead and draw out what a single limb bracket looks like. So for our tournament, we had four pools. I'm just gonna label them one, two, three and four <laughs> sorry for the horrible three there we go I'm a little bit better and the two that looks like a backwards c um so you had pools one two three and four each pool fed out two teams that ended up making a bracket that looked just like a standard tournament bracket so you had eight teams in total one two three four five six seven eight and then the winner of each of those played and then the winner of those played, and then you had your champion. There was no second bracket, there was no loser's bracket, so you were basically done if you lost. What this also means is that in those pool play matches, you're actually fighting for your tournament life already. In a standard double elimination bracket, you have teams that move on from the pool to the championship bracket, and you have teams that move on from the pool into the loser's bracket, depending on how well they do. In this tournament, we only had 12 teams, so it was four pools of three teams with one team getting sent home from each pool on the very first day of the tournament. This leads to a lot of potential upsets like Space Station Gaming getting knocked out on the first day and placing top 12. After that, you head into a bracket where your tournament life is on the line every single match. You don't have that loser's bracket to fall back on in case you have a bad day or a bad start to a game or any of the other excuses that could possibly come up. You have to give it your all every single match or you are done. And we saw some potential upsets because of this when we saw Rise beat Fury and we saw Rise beat Ghost and we saw Fire and Ice Lad Am beat Simplicity, who was also doing really well that tournament coming out first in their pool, taking a win over Space State, or uh, sorry, a 2 0 win over Reciprocity, and a very close loss should have been a win with Space Station Gaming. So personally, I enjoy this type of format. I feel that it, it forces the players to play with a higher intensity and, and it can dramatically increase the risk of upsets in teams as we saw at the Invitational. That being said, tournaments need to be way more frequent in order for this to be viable. I'm a strong believer that any team can beat any other team on any given weekend. Look at teams like Fire and Ice, Simplicity, and even Rise showing up in the grand finals at that tournament. I believe single elimination format tournaments really don't work unless you have some sort of league system to back them up so that every single tournament isn't the end all be all tournament. You have another thing to play for, you have another structure where if a team has a bad weekend at a single elimination format tournament, oh well, I still have my league that I can do really well in and then the next one's not too far off. Which that leads me into my second point with Single elimination tournaments seem to be really well as a playoff structure. I enjoy that. If you look at the LCS, the end of their season, which is their league, ends with a single elimination tournament. So they have the entire league to prove themselves and then that tournament to really solidify their position in the standings of the LCS. You look at Counter-Strike, they do single elimination after groups very often, but they have tournaments basically every other week or every two weeks. Uh, including majors coming every month or two. So they are constantly competing, constantly playing in things, and every tournament leads to different results. So it keeps the scene exciting and fresh while also giving the players a lot to play for. In Gears of War Esports, the events are every two to three months, which means these events hold a lot more weight than potentially other esports. So for the situations like that, I believe that double elimination is the best format. It gives teams a chance to snap out of any potential funks or any other issues that they might be having that weekend and really show that they're the best of the best, if they are. So my question to you guys to end this video is, what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below if you think that single elimination is better or if you prefer double elimination brackets. I really look forward to seeing your answers. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe down below for more content and I will see you all in the next video.